Wanted to give you a little bit of heads up. I've got a video coming right after this, but I want to give you a warning that every once in a while there's that crackling going on. This microphone, ah, oy ve shmia. Uh, so I'll be looking for a new microphone too, but I wanted to give you a heads up that in certain areas it does crackle. And <clears throat> I'm a little pressed for time today, and I want to get this video out to you, so forgive me for the crackles, but I'm going to put it through as is. Sometimes on YouTube, that's a no-no, but, hey, you know, I, I want to get this out. So, um, love you guys. Here's the message. Hey. Um, it's morning. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. And it's going to be a good day. I got a day off. So, I wanted to spend a little bit of um, morning with you. I'll probably do a couple of videos today for you. So, feeling really good. We had a little bit of a storm last night. Uh, that was delicious. Yummo. Uh, it was fun. And uh, actually, uh, there's cool weather this morning. Uh, long sleeves. And actually had a chance to cover myself up <laughs> with a blanket. Wow, how novel is that? It's so I sleep so much better if I can kind of curl up. But it's been so hot. Oh, my water is boiling. Our water is boiling. That... Uh, yeah, it's been so hot that I can't even um, use a sheet or a blanket. It's going to be a beautiful day today. It's not going to be too hot. So a couple of you have asked me how to get started. How to get started in the nomad life. It looks so appealing to you and it looks like so much fun that you want to know how to get this thing moving. So what are your first steps? And I did put out a post this week that said um, the nomad life starts in the brain, and which it does. It starts in the mind. You have to see it. Obviously, you know about it. You know that people are doing it out there. How much do you really want to do it? How much are you willing to um, organize up to do it and, and get started? So it starts up here. How much how, can you see it? Can you visualize your future as a nomad? Can you see yourself? Can you visualize yourself traveling around? And how, how, do, you, how do you visualize it? So it really starts up here. Um, I remember when I thought about it, I would see myself and I thought about um, boondocking because I had watched a lot of uh, cheap RV living videos. And so I visualized myself doing the same thing. Uh, boondocking and uh, you know meeting new people and driving around and uh, being on the road I knew that it would probably uh, I would probably be spending a lot of time alone and let me get some cool water in here let's have a hot beverage do you like coffee I've got it for you do you like tea hot tea got that for you too I put on a new setting we'll see how it goes <laughs> even when I put a new setting it works for a little bit and then I got crackle crackle going on okay here you go oh, in the morning let's spend time um, so one of the characteristics of being a nomad is wanting to spend time alone I just watched a video and like 12 characteristics of people who like to spend time alone. And the really good characteristics are people who do like to spend time alone, they are finding out are um, highly intelligent. We need time alone. We like to spend time alone. We like to invest the, investigate things on our own. Um, we like to think about things. And um, and I'm not, I would have to read it again on why, but, but yeah, people who do like to spend time alone are, are very highly intelligent. They don't need to have conversation all the time. Um, and basically, if you like to spend time alone, you're going to um, have a characteristic that you enjoy being with you. You are confident in you. Uh, you like being, you're comfortable being with yourself. Uh, so that's another characteristic. Another one I would really say is the confidence in Confidence in your ability to
to handle situations and confidence enough to ask other people proper questions and uh, ask them for help because you might need it out there. You might, you have to have the ability to approach somebody and ask them if, you know, if they, if they can help you because you have a little bit of a problem. I mean, you have to be aware. You also have to have a characteristic of being aware of your surroundings. But I know Bob Wells always mentions from Char Chief RV Living that people really are nice. They really are nice. For the most part, most people are very nice. I mean, like 95% of people are very nice. And they want to be helpful. And I almost think it's almost like in the animal world. If you're afraid, if you're afraid of other people, they're going to sense that. And, uh, yeah, but if you're not afraid and you have the confidence, people kind of, you know, even if they had, even if they have ulterior motives, they'll kind of leave you alone because they know that, you you know, they would rather, if they wanted to hurt somebody, they'd rather go find somebody who has no confidence in themselves and kind of walking lowly with their head down. No, because it's easier. I mean, there's enough sheep out there walking around, you know, like that. So, but if you have confidence, people, for the most part, even if they have ulterior motives or bad intention type people, they'll kind of leave the people alone that kind of walk around with the confidence. So if those are your characteristics, and I'm sure there's more, and leave in the comments any more um, characteristics that you think, ooh, somebody just walked by my window, that you think would go with um, being a nomad. And if you are a nomad, you know, yeah. Let's share the conversation. Cheers. Let's have um, my first sip of coffee because I prefer coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's been a really good week. The solar situation was wonderful this week. I'm not going to say it's totally solved because I do need to get a permanent one up there that I get anchored up there somehow, whether it's a flexible or if it's a hard um, metal uh, solar panel. And I do need to get uh, the holes drilled. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I do. Th I think this weekend, because I don't have to be <laughs> babysitting my solar panels all weekend. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Um, that I will maybe research and I'm sure if I got my own drill it'd be nice to have my own electric drill um, a, a battery one that um, um, Ryobi I think uh, that's what a lot of you use and then I can charge up the battery you know with my uh, Jackery but through here I brought um, I put my solar panel up here at, towards the back and I use zip ties because they have those little tabs those little loop tabs on each corner. And so I hooked it up there. And then I hooked up my extension cord. And I brought it through here. And I brought it all the way to the front. Because it's a long extension cord. I brought it all the way to the front. Um, my Jackery's at 98. My one chiffon is at 100. And this chiffon down here, you're running it, is 98. One thing I did notice, when the Jackery reached... 100% it stopped when I looked it was it plugged in but there was nothing going in so there was a good there there is a good controller in there now my chiffons no um they were just probably overcharging you know I mean I could come out at lunch and check on them but yeah my chiffons um they just kept charging and so that's why all night long I had um a couple things plugged in and it's and it's still only 98 so um, it probably got charged up to like 120 or something like that, which is not good for a lit. You don't want to overcharge a lithium battery. No, but my chiffons, yeah, they're, uh, they, they're on their time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're getting older. Yeah. The next thing I probably will purchase is a Jackery. One thousand. I'm so happy with Jackery, uh, Jackery one thousand. So I'm very happy with it, and I'm all powered up. I've even got um, my little power. What I do, <laughs> I want to show you this. What I do. These are those. Uh, 
little hand power banks like, like you can stick it in your purse and uh, you can be charging up your phone this is my um, um, a, a fairy lights these are my fairy lights got my fairy lights going on and what I did because where the connection was to this and the wire that was what was um, the connection was getting broken because it was constantly twisting so what I did was I put duct tape real heavy duct tape on it and so yeah I put duct tape across there and this is a little more stable right here so let's see if we can last these on but I did it to the front ones too yeah and then what I do is I use these for um, my fairy lights so but these are all powered up too yes and my my speakers powered up I'm pumped <laughs> it's on like donkey dog <laughs> yeah so this weekend I don't have to worry about powering up at all maybe maybe um, by the third day I might have to go out and power up my uh, chiffons a little bit but once I get to work I can just power anything up that needs I can power up my jackery so very exciting so I think this weekend I'll just have some um, decisions to make on what I want to do permanently for uh, my solar okay so becoming a nomad really does start in the mind it starts in the brain it starts in what your vision is what is your vision and doing some research can you see yourself doing it if you what you can hold in your head you can hold in your hand can you see yourself doing it can you see that this is the kind of lifestyle and you can't be afraid I mean, if you see yourself doing it, and then you go, ooh, but to actually do it, you could, you know, you have to get over the fear of, you're just going to have to take that step. It's like, I liken it like, you got um, the escalator, and it's moving, constantly moving. You're at the airport, and you go to a and you walk on it, you know. It's like that. You have to walk up to it. You have to take that first step under the escalator. You know, and it'll move you forward faster. You can still, you can still walk on the airport escalators, or you can just stand there and let it take you. But walking will get you there faster. So you just have to take that step and say, "I'm going to do this." Winter's coming. I mean, okay, well, <laughs> it's still July, <laughs> so I get. But in my mind, because I'm always looking at the future, I can't wait. And shout out to Max. He just, um, he contacted me. Yeah, he's going to get started early. <laughs> I'm all jealous. Um, yeah, I'm still working. Uh, so we'll see. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to keep working, so I don't know. Uh, I could get ticked off and just quit. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, but because there's some odd characters. When, you, when you're working in a warehouse... You're working with some um, odd characters. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. And so you have to have your wits about you. And you can't be too oversensitive. You have to let things just roll right off your back. Because um, people who might do warehouse work, and they're younger, and they do it for a living, and they have been for a long time, uh, that's kind of rough work. And... Uh, I just do it part time, and uh, I've done a lot of other work. But there are people who that's all they've done, and that's all they maybe they feel they can do, and uh, they can tend to be more brutish types. That's all I got to say about that. Not your higher thinkers, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. I want to let you know that. If there's anything else um, to add, I will continue talking about getting started. That's one of the things that I am um, passionate about and I've done videos about it about getting started what to look for first but I think maybe I didn't I needed to go the ultimate beginning and that's up here you have to want to do it because I tell the story my daughter and I don't even know the timeline anymore you know because it's been I don't even know how long I've been out here anymore I think it's going on four years I'll have to look again but yeah, it's going on four years. Um, so that would be like even three years before that. Like seven years ago, she she goes, Mom, she goes, look at this. She sent me a link. She goes, watch this website. 
and watch this guy. And it was Bob Wells. And she goes, watch him. She goes, look at his videos. And I looked at it and I said, oh my gosh, this is so me. I knew it. It was like a, a, a good matchup. This lifestyle was for me, and I knew I was going to do it, not right away. I mean, I had other things going on, but I knew I was going to do it. Oh, yeah. So I started planning up here. I started planning, and I watched videos, watch videos, watch my videos. I mean, I've given you some uh, good videos on, uh, you know, getting your domicile set and your, your mail, how to get your mail, and uh, your dresses and you know what to look for and, and I, I listed all the types of um, <clears throat> rigs that you can get so yeah look below in my playlist and somebody said well I can't find that you just go to my playlist um, <clears throat> maybe every time I will um, put my playlist up for you so there's other functions I can use for YouTube but I have to have a laptop to do it <laughs> on the phone. There's just certain things that are missing um, that I, there's certain things I can't do. Not a lot, but there are certain things. On my phone, I can't change my, um, my header photo. I can't do other links in my videos without on my phone. You know, I, I, those are things that I have not been able to do. So, you know how like when up above, you know, you'll get like, uh, this uh, link will show up that to click it to go to another one. Like I might be talking about, well, go to this website and then, then the link will come up. Once I get my laptop, because I'm working, um, once I get a laptop, I'll be able to do that. So, yeah. Cheers to laptops. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you do need a laptop. So, well, I'm going to end this. It starts up here. The, the mind. Let me, one more thing. Let me say, it's always one more, one more thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, the mind, the brain should be your captain, the captain of the whole ship, not your body. Do not let your body become your captain. And that's what's happened to so many people. The mind are the thought, control your thoughts. Your body is more controlling of the emotional end of your life. So many people run their life with this being the captain, letting their emotions, their past run your ship. Let this part run your ship. You tell this, relax, stop, chill out, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. You know, you, um, yeah, but the thoughts, your brain should become your captain, not your emotions. So when you can get this in or get this in proper order and that's through meditation, I really recommend anybody who wants to begin listening to, um, Dr. Joe Dispenza and the book is, um, breaking the habit of being yourself. And it, it, it's very appropriate, uh, it's a very appropriate uh, title because just being yourself, who knows, you know, who knows how, who we've been all these years. Let's break the habit of being that person and create, create a new, create a new person. It sounds scary and think, oh, I don't want, I want to be who I am. God made me the way I am. Yes, God did make you the way you are, but your personality was developed somewhat oh yeah in somewhat in, in a very large way your body your personality was developed over time through moods and and attitudes and then all of a sudden it becomes your personality um you can change that you really can so nomad life here we come let's get started with learning about um, how to get started and how to get going. So many of you want to, so many of you email me and say, how do I, I want to, I want to do this, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, let's get sure. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Love you.